Welcome back, everybody. Joining us here this morning, we have Todd Skemper with Kinetic Edge, and we're going to talk physical therapy. You guys have a, a, an event that everybody needs to know about here um, that we want to mention as well. But first, let's let's just talk about Kinetic Edge and kind of what you guys do over there. Yeah, we're a locally based physical therapy company. We're based out of Iowa, physical therapist owned company. And we see a variety of patients who deal with uh, from back pain, neck pain, uh, maybe they're recovering from a surgery or a car accident or work injury and we're just trying to help them kind of get back to their activities that they want to do, whether it's throwing a ball with their, their child or getting back to work or um, just dealing with those daily activities like climbing stairs. You know, we want to help them understand what they need to do to help um, get that movement back. And when, oh, go ahead. I was just say, so why kinetic <coughs> edge? Uh, when we think about physical therapy, we think it, it, about something that is necessary when you're recovering from maybe a surgery or something like that. But let's just say you're not moving as well as you used to. Why should we stop by and see you, the experts at Kinetic Edge? Yeah, we just really find a lot of people just put off these this opportunity to get better. They just think it's going to get better on its own. You know, maybe they're working with Dr. Google to help them get better. <laughs> and, and right. They just Good haven't found that solution. And maybe they just kind of start accepting, you know, that I can't use my shoulder, I can't do stairs as well. So, you know, we really like to take a good look at the whole person, understand what factors are helping, are going to help them get better with that injury and, and create a plan to, to get there. And when, when we talk physical therapy, what, what exactly is that? Yeah, it's a great question. I think a lot of people don't understand that in, in Iowa, you can come to a physical therapist without a referral. If you're dealing with a shoulder injury or an ankle injury um, and it's not getting better, you can come and see us directly and we can help you put together a plan of how to stretch, how to strengthen, how to um, um, even some hands-on techniques that we use to mobilize joints and stretch out areas um, to help them restore function to that area. Um, to help them get back to their life. So would you say that a, a good candidate for physical therapy is anybody who's having some problem with movement or how do you know if you're a good candidate and physical therapy is the direction that you need to go? Yeah, I think the movement expert piece is, is something that we'd like to say is, you know, that's what physical therapists are, experts in movement. Um, I think if you've done other things, if you tried injections or it's kind of the opioid epidemic right now, we hear a lot about that in the news and it's another solution for people dealing with chronic pain, helping them with hands-on techniques, um, education on how to move better and then exercises and things that they can do throughout their daily life to just pr promote movement and blood flow and just feeling better in more of a natural way. Is there something you're seeing now more than ever uh, or is it kind of run the gamut depending on who's walking through the door? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> uh, we see such a variety. You know, anybody who you know, could have neck pain or headaches all, all the way down to somebody dealing with plantar fasciitis and foot pain. So it's just a good variety. I'd say back pain and shoulder pain are pretty common in our clinics. Um, but then also there's you know many people dealing with knee surgeries and and uh, hip surgeries and that kind of thing too. So it's just a good, it's a good mix of people of all ages that we work with really. It's, so truly tip to toe, you guys are there if you're dealing with some sort of pain or just not moving as well or feeling as well as you could, you might wanna check out what the experts can do with physical therapy. Yeah, if someone's never done physical therapy before, um, it'd be a great addition to other things that they may be doing to help themselves with feeling better, investing in their health. And I want to highlight something you mentioned <coughs> that I don't think people realize, you don't need a referral. So you don't need to have had a surgery in order to say, oh, now I need physical therapy. People can just stop on by and meet the team and find out how you might be able to help. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't know that, that you don't need a referral. I mean, insurance will cover that if we find that it's medi medically necessary to help them with their injury and the problem that they're dealing with. And then if it's a deeper problem and we need to refer them on for uh, imaging through their doctor or a consult with a specialist, then we can do that too and, and appreciate helping them in that way. Because I think that is something that a lot of us think about, think of physical therapy as follow-up yes. to something, yeah. right? Talk about, your, you talk a lot about movement. So what are some of the things that for people, you know, that, that maybe we can be doing at home for, maybe we don't have some, but just, you know, maybe the common everyday kind of aches and pains, things that we can be doing on a regular basis to kind of help, because like you said, movement is the key with everything. 
Yeah, I, th I think uh, fears I think of are the cardiovascular, encouraging people to be more active, whether it's getting out and walking more often or doing some biking or getting in the pool, just kind of promoting that cardiovascular fitness. And then stretching, you know, whether that's a, a home program of stretching or getting involved with a yoga class, the idea that as we get older, we're not getting more flexible, we're getting less flexible. So really promoting flexibility and stretching and then even the strength training, our, our muscles um, are getting weaker as we get older too. I'm not painting a good picture of getting older <laughs> here. But, um, if you're proactive, it's it's gonna be better and you're gonna enjoy life more if you're more proactive. Well, let's go back to how people can just stop on by and have a conversation with you guys. Yeah. And you're really encouraging that with a free screening day. So explain how that works and how people can get involved. Yeah, this is a company-wide um, free injury screen day on October 24 this week. And all of our clinics, all seven of our Central Iowa clinics are having spots available for patients to come in, people to call up and or visit our website and, and just check in and see if, 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 if we can help them out. So it's coming in, um, sharing about your injury, we'll kind of screen people, watch them move, and, and talk about a plan to help them get back to where they wanna be. Do you have a couple of key kind of stories of some clients that you've had come in that you know have had you know some, some sort of injury that they were needing some relief with and um, that are kind of maybe unique? Yeah, I, I, one that comes to mind quickly is a nine-year-old girl. She was dealing with a, kind of a chronic ankle sprain and had kind of just stiffened up in that ankle and she was trying to play her sports but was favoring it. And we found out that she was just really weak in her ankle, really tight, her balance was decreased and we just put her on a good program of some home exercises. We did some hands-on activities to help her and she's back to softball and basketball without a problem, but it took a little bit of work. You know, she had to invest in that ankle and kind of get it moving a little bit better. Um, and another individual I think of is a gentleman in his 30s who was dealing with some shoulder pain. He had a previous surgery and just hadn't fully rehabbed his shoulder. It was still weak and we worked on a program to help him get stronger and more mobile and he's back to the things he wants to do as well. And again, it just took a little bit of effort to trust us to help him and then to do his part by working on his strengthening and um, people then see the benefit of, of going through that. How often as humans do we just like, oh, I'll just deal with it, it's fine, mm -hmm. I don't, I'll, I'll, it'll work itself out. I mean, I know I'm guilty of it. Uh, how often should we actually be seeking some extra advice so that we can heal the right way? Yeah, you know, if it's a minor issue, you probably don't need to seek help right away if it's just a, a minor tweak or something like that. But if it's something you've been dealing with for maybe a week or two and the pain's not going away or you're starting to modify your life and limit things, then it's probably good to seek some help to get things on the right road. Because if you deal with it early, it's going to get better quicker and probably cost you less too. Absolutely. Okay, so that goes back to that free injury screening mm -hmm. that you guys are offering this week. Perfect opportunity. Maybe you've had something that, you know what, this soreness just hasn't gone away. We encourage you to go check out the experts at Kinetic Edge because you might have the answer or at least some ways of getting people back to moving the, the way they once did. Yeah, and it's a 20 minute commitment. It's not a big commitment. Um, you just need to call up one of our clinics and get on the schedule of one of our, our providers. Um, we'll talk through the situation, kind of explain what we think is going on and, and figure out a plan to help people keep moving in the right direction. I mm -hmm. love that. Do we need an appointment? Can we just show up or how does that work? Yeah, we really would request people call and set up an appointment at okay. one of our clinics. Our care coordinators can, can schedule those appointments. And remind us, how many clinics do you guys have around the area? We have seven in, in Iowa. Two are in the metro, Waukee, and I'm in downtown Des Moines. That's where I'm based out. So if they want to see you personally, they downtown go to the downtown location, correct? And Patrick is over at the Waukee. He's yep. been in before as well. And then Ames, Newton, Pella, Oskaloosa, and Centerville, where other clinics are in Iowa. Okay, good. Don't miss out on a free opportunity. If you've had that injury or maybe just some soreness for anywhere from young adults to older adults, you guys are there to help tip to toe. Yeah. Wonderful. And he Thank said you. this doesn't happen very often, so uh, you want to get out there October 24th and take advantage of it. Love it. Thank you, Todd, for joining us. Thank today. you. Yeah. Good to Thank be here. You.